want to provide an introduction into the annual percentage rate and the effective annual rate. And then I'm going to show you how to do it on the HP 10B2 Plus financial calculator. I've done a tutorial using the Texas Instruments calculator, but for those of you who are using the HP, I thought I'd do one of these as well. So the annual percentage rate, APR, is the periodic interest rate multiplied by the number of periods. It's sometimes referred to as the nominal rate. And we'll see when we get to the financial calculator, they refer to it as the nominal rate, or NOM, on the calculator. It's the annual rate that's quoted by law. So you may have seen this but not known what it was. If you happen to see an ad in a newspaper or in a magazine for, let's say, um, a car, and they're telling you what the payment will be, and then they, they'll go in small print, you'll see something about the APR. Well, that's what this is. Um, if you happen to go into a bank, for those few of you who walk into a bank these days, you may see a board there in the lobby that says the different rates on certificates of deposit, six months, one year, two years, three years. And it might say that the APR is 1%, but then saying it's compounded monthly or daily, they'll tell you what the effective rate is. So, for example, if the rate is 1% per month, the APR will be 1% times 12 months or 12% per year. Now, what the APR does not account for is the effects of compounding. Right? We know from compounding you get interest on interest, so you're actually going to have a higher effective rate. So, what the effective annual rate does is it's the interest rate expressed as if it were compounded once per year. So it allows for a comparison of rates with different compounding periods, right? If you were comparing, let's say, some investment or some certificate of deposit, one paid 1% 1 per month um, for 12 months, one paid, you know, uh, let's say 3% per quarter, you know, how do you do the comparisons? One's 1%, one's 3%, right? You, you know, in fact, they're both 12% in this case APRs, but what's the effective rate? What's the better choice? So here's how you do the computation for the effective annual rate. It's one plus the annual percentage rate divided by the number of compounding periods raised to the power of the number of compounding periods minus one. So from the previous example, if the APR is 12% and interest is paid one, uh, paid monthly, then it's one plus one percent raised to the twelfth power minus one. This is also the case when you look at things like credit cards. Lots of credit cards have an APR, for example, 18%. That's one and a half percent per month times 12 months, that's 18%. But what's the effective rate that you actually pay? All right, it's one plus 0.18 divided by 12 raised to the 12th power minus one. Now you can do this just with any calculator, but there's functions on here on the financial calculator that allow you to do it a little more easily. So, you notice from the um, HP calculator, there are three functions for each key. The white function means you just hit the key. The blue functions up top means you have to hit this blue shift key. And the rust colored ones, you have to hit this one. So on this time value of money um, row here, if you've done time value of money using the financial calculator, below happen to be um, the items you're going to use to calculate effective and um, annual percentage rate. So I don't know how well you can see it, but under the I slash YR is NOM percent, nominal percentage. That's the APR, that would be the 18%. Underneath the PV, is EFF percent, so that's the effective rate. 
and underneath the PMT is P slash YR, that's periods per year. So if we wanted to do this calculation, so the first thing we want to do is clear everything, make sure that there's nothing, you know, um, in memory somewhere. So you can hit this red shift key or this rust colored shift key, and down here at C, underneath it says C all, clear all. Okay. It's set for 12 periods per year. Well, let me, let me show you how to set it anyhow. You type in 12, and you'd hit this uh, rust colored shift key, and you'd hit this. So now 12 is in there. Now the nominal rate we said was 18%. 18, again, hit that shift key, and hit this. So 18 should be the APR. And if we want to compute the effective rate, we hit the shift key and the effective rate and we get 19.56%. So that's a little bit easier. It's a little faster, obviously, if you're taking a test um, to do the calculation. You can also go in the other direction. You can calculate the APR from the EAR. That's not as common. Remember, the APR is what has to be quoted by law, so you're not so likely to see the EAR and need to work backwards for the APR, except for maybe a test you're taking. So this is the formula here for EAR, and you have to do some algebra. I'm not going to do that here, but if you do some algebra, you can work it out so the APR equals the number of compounding periods times what's in these outer brackets, 1 plus EAR. This is raised to the 1 over m power. Okay, It doesn't may not look like it. it may look like it's multiplied, but it's raised to the 1 over m power. That's to get this out of the, um, I'm sorry, get this out of the uh, um, exponential part, minus 1. All right, so let's look at the um, example. If we were to work backwards, again, we could do this by hand, but this is a little tedious, right? If you type something in wrong, you're going to get the wrong answer. If you kind of do it out of order mathematically. So much easier to do on the financial calculator. So let me just um, clear everything. So shift clear all, right? It's already set for 12 periods per year. Let's just type in 19.56. And we'll put it in as the effective rate, which is under the uh, PV key. And then we can compute the nominal rate, and we get 18%. So this is a pretty neat um, function to have. Okay, Works especially well if you're taking a test somewhere, CFA exam, or just an, um, a test in class. Okay, Much faster to do it much easier to do it.